How did God rest? Through his beloved son, Jesus Christ. When did God rest? When his beloved son rose from the dead. When his beloved son rose from the dead. Because the resurrection of the Messiah is the redemption and the salvation of those who received him as Lord and Savior. You'll be wasting your time outside of Jesus Christ. Rest. Shabtha. Rest. Shabbat means you don't do anything, you just rest. So who rested? God. Not humans, God. The Holy Bible says, and God rested on Shabbat, on the seventh day. God rested, not us. Now, since God rested on Shabbat, then what is God's rest? How does God rest? And when does God rest? Does it mean that God worked and now he stopped working? Is there such a thing as God stops taking a break? What did the Lord Jesus say? He says, my father till this moment is working and so am I. Because the day that comes, God stops working, everything comes to an end. If God stops, everything stops. So what does it mean that God rested? How did God rest? When did God rest? There is only one way for God to rest. Only one way. When I and you, you and I, are sin free are sin free that's when God rests how did God rest through his beloved son Jesus Christ when did God rest when his beloved son rose from the dead when his beloved son rose from the dead because the resurrection of the Messiah is the redemption and the salvation of those who received him as Lord and Savior. You see, to some people this is unacceptable. But everybody's got a choice to make. But at the end, you will have to be responsible for the consequences of your choices. Believe you me, and I'm saying it out of love and respect and humility. Believe you me. You'll be wasting your time outside of Jesus Christ. The one who will be standing there to judge you or to welcome you is Jesus Christ. There won't be no one else. This I put my life on the line for. You can put a sword and chop my head. I'll never go back on what I say. There is only one that will judge you or welcome you to heaven. His name is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. No one else. If you are thinking there is another one, you've wasted your life for nothing. Now this truth will be realized sooner or later. But unfortunately, to some will be too late to realize it. There's no comeback. Once the spirit leaves the body, there is no comeback. God rests when us are sin free. Whoever receives Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, when Jesus, our Lord and Savior, forgives your sins, it is then and then only God enters his rest. So what is Shabbat? Shabbat is not a day. Shabbat is a person called Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You see, God rested on a Shabbat, but the day Saturday is not a day for God to rest. 
a day cannot make God rest. It is Jesus Christ who makes God rest. When Jesus, the beloved Son, forgives the sins of those who receive Him as Lord and Savior, it is then God enters Shabbat. Therefore, Shabbat is not a day of a week, it's a person called Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He is the spiritual, the true Shabbat. Not a day. And Jesus rose from the dead on Sunday. Because Sunday, Chad Shabba. Chad Shabba, Sunday means the first day of the week. And from Sunday to Sunday is eight days. So Sunday can be the first day and can be the eighth day. Now this realm is governed by seven. So number eight is a number that is outside this realm. So number eight represents eternity. That's why the infinity symbol is number eight lying on its side. The infinity symbol is number eight lying on its side. Two circles within each other. So you put a dot anywhere, that dot can be the beginning and that dot can be the end. But the beginning has no beginning and the end has no end because you'll be going in circle forever. So number eight, the Lord Jesus rose from the dead on Sunday, which is the eighth day. That is the eternal day that has no ending. So whoever receives Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, the Lord enters you into the eighth day, which is the spiritual eternal day. When you enter through Christ Jesus in the eighth day, it is God's rest. Because God is our heavenly Father. The Father will never rest until He sees His children in His own presence, fully intact, in good health, and in good spirit. When the children come back home, it is then and then only parents can say, finally, I am at rest. I can rest now. My child came back. Thank God they are okay. When your child is distant, when your child is lost in this world, as a parent, can you have rest? No. Even if you take a break from everything, but the heart, the mind, the soul is in trouble. Because my own son, my own daughter are distant from God and from me as parent. I will never rest until they come back home. This is God. He will never rest until all of us make it home, i.e. heaven. And who made heaven possible for us? The beloved Son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 